In this second tutorial video, I'm going to go through the installation instructions for the Puma software, Porous Microstructure Analysis, um, if you want to compile it from source rather than using the Conda Forge distribution. So uh, there may be several reasons why you'd want to compile from source. First, if you want to develop the code in any way, if you want to have access to the source code um, so you can make any modifications, if you want to be a contributor to the project, um, or if for whatever reason the Conda Forge installation did not work, um, please try the source installation. So installing from source is, is also pretty straightforward. Again, we, we know how much of a pain it is to install scientific software. So we're, we're really trying to make it as, as simple as humanly possible and to make sure that it works on um, a whole bunch of different distributions uh, in the same way. So there are really only four steps in the installation process. The first is to just go to the GitHub um, for the installation instructions, which are in the readme as you see here. So the GitHub is uh, github.com slash NASA slash Puma. Now, step number two is to install the dependencies. And what I mean by dependencies are um, basically really basic system level stuff that we, we can't really just have installed on on uh, through the, the conda and I mean things like git so if you want to do a git clone of our github repository git has to be installed so that sort of thing now what we've done is for the three most common systems so mac os any kind of debian based um, I, if I'm pronouncing that right I, I might not be um, linux system so ubuntu is an example of that or uh, any fedora based system like centos or uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. For each of these, it's just a simple one-line command. And uh, don't worry if you already have these installed, um, it's not gonna hurt anything to just type the command in again. Just basically nothing will happen if it's already installed. So for example, I'm doing this on Mac, so I'm gonna select the first line. Um, in this case, it's installing the Mac Xcode command line tools. I type that in. And uh, it says error command line tools already installed. So if you don't have the command line tools, then it's going to take you through a bunch of prompts in order to install them. So once you have the dependencies installed, the next step is to just clone the repository. And as I mentioned before, git is one of those uh, dependencies. So open up your terminal, um, go to wherever you want to install Puma. I'm just going to go to the desktop and execute that command git clone github.com slash nasa slash puma and it's going to download the puma files and it's going to download them into this puma folder uh, that in, in my case is here on the desktop and once it's finished I'll, I'll open it up and show you what's inside okay so if we open it up you can see that there uh, are tutorials at the bottom there's the readme of course um, the python source code the uh, installation scripts, the GUI source code, uh, the um, the Doxygen and, and, and Sphinx uh, stuff for compiling the documentation, as well as the C++ source code. Now, um, what we're going to do next, uh, which is in the readme here, is just to uh, basically enter this folder make sure the installer script can be executed with this chmod command and then execute the install script. Now, the very first thing that this install script is gonna do is it's gonna make sure that you have a distribution of Conda. Um, if you do not have a distribution of Conda, it's going to automatically install one for you. And there's gonna be absolutely no user input whatsoever needed between now and when um, the software is finished installing. So I'm gonna go ahead and click enter here and you can see it's recognized that I don't have Anaconda, so it's downloading the Miniconda and it's gonna install it just in my home directory under Miniconda, which is the, uh, the standard installation place for Miniconda or Anaconda. Okay, at this point, Puma has been installed successfully. Now, since the first step was installing um, Conda, uh, if you did not already have it, um, 
in order to initialize conda in your terminal you're gonna have to exit out and open a new terminal window now you should see this base appearing on the left now since puma uses conda to manage the environments we have an environment for puma so in order to launch the puma gui for example you're going to type in conda activate puma and then run the command puma gui and then the GUI should appear. Uh, so at this point, the uh, there will be various different tutorials that go through all of the different functionalities in the Puma software. Um, if you had any problems during the installation um, or any questions or you'd like to contribute or just reach out for any reason, you can reach out either to me um, at joseph.ferguson at stanford.edu or federico.semeraro at nasa.gov.